So this is a tricopter that I built. Um, tricopter over a quadcopter, basically the only difference is that it has three motors and a servo on the back. Whereas a normal quadcopter will have four motors uh, that provide yaw through the torque of the motors, which you can see here. A tricopter is a little different though. It uses a servo on the back that moves the motor back and forth. This way it gives the yaw through actual movement of the motor rather than speeding up and slowing down certain motors. So the main materials that were used for the tricopter were some basic pine wood, uh, some polycarbonate for the inner frame, and some standard screws just to screw it all together. Uh, and really, you can buy all this stuff from uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, any local hardware store should have all this stuff. Onto the electronics, the motors are Hextronic DT750s, and they are running off of 20 amp uh, ESCs from Hobby King. And the whole tricopter is controlled by a KK2 board. Uh, and all of it is powered by a 2200 milliamp hour battery uh, running on 11.1 volts, 3 cells. And it has a little battery beeper that tells me when to land. A big advantage with the tricopter is its ability to not break. Uh, the arms actually fold uh, on a hard uh, crash landing. And this will absorb some of the shock. And this also provides for ease of transport because you can just fold the tricopter and put it in your backpack. Uh, so yeah, that's my tricopter. Uh, it's a lot of fun to fly. You can do a lot with it. Um, and the boundaries are really endless. I do aerial footage with it. I just go in the park. I fly it around. And yeah, it's a blast for everybody to see and a blast for me to fly.